गुड इवनिंग श्री मोहम्मद हामिद अंसारी ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री नरेंद्र मोदी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया प्रतिभा जी माय इमीजिएट प्रोड्यूसर्स ट्वेल्थ प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक जस्टिस टी एस ठाकुर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया डिस्टिंग्विस्ट मेम्बर्स ऑफ द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया डिस्टिंग्विश जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अदर डिग्नेटरीज एज वाइस प्रेसिडेंट हेज पॉइंटेड आउट द गैलेक्सी ऑफ डिग्नेटरीज असेंबल in this hall this evening secretary to the president mrs samita paul additional secretary shri mathu the creator of this museum professor shoroj ghosh ladies and gentlemen on this day 4 years ago i entered into rashtrapati bhavan as the 13th president of the republic but i can tell you candidly i had no idea about the living of this magnificent building results were declared on 22nd june i was declared as the 13th president of the republic 25th was the scheduled date of swearing in so i told my daughter go to rashtrapati bhavan see the conditions of the living part because so far i am concerned my knowledge of rashtrapati bhavan is primarily to the banquet hall where we have sumptuous banquets ashoka hall where i was shown in number of times as the ministers under various prime ministers starting from indira gandhi in the early 70s and the study of the president which i had to visit at least each times when i presented the budget to obtain the approval of the president in the morning of the budget presentation to parliament and before that to cabinet i spent 43 years of my life within stones throw from the president's house but i had no idea therefore the first decision i took when i entered into this magnificent building 4 years ago that people must know if living within stones throw for 43 years when i entered into parliament in july 1969 <coughs> and when my membership of parliament was terminated again in july 2012 43 years i was member of parliament and living in this area but no knowledge except these three places and on three occasions i am happy to say at the conclusion of the four years that to some extent we have been able to open the door to the common people of this country and to have an opportunity to the people to know that merely the president of the india is as prasibha ji was telling me and telling particularly professor shoroj host to show that presidents also do work they do not sleep though constitutionally they are always advised by the prime minister and the council of ministers and that should be so that is our democratic culture 
and to my mind the transformation which took place here and the magnificent hall of darbar hall the high columns the glittering chandeliers the marble walls are the mute witness of the revolution in indian history in the contemporary period when at midnight of 14th and 15th of august pandit jawahar lal nehru addressed to the nation in his speech to its destiny when on 24th of november 1949 for the first time in 190 years more than 190 years almost 192 years the indian made their first law constitution of india when they declared we the people of india we are giving social justice to all we are giving liberty we are providing equality to all citizens of india and making this constitution and giving it to ourselves in this constituent assembly on 24th november that is not merely a legal transaction or transition but to my mind that was a silent revolution on 26th of january when the then governor general rajagopal achari conducted oath to babu rajendra prasad as the first president of the republic the largest functional democracy of the world started operating and much water has flown through ganges jumnas narmadas and kaveris but indian democracy has moved from strength to strength we have maintained perhaps as the first citizen of the country can claim that india is a country where transfer of power from individual to individual party to party has never posed any problem even for a single hour there was lot of writing speculations before the general election of 2014 and when receiving a massive mandate prime minister narendra modi came to see me i simply asked him mr prime minister i am ready with my appointment to you as the prime minister of this republic please tell me when you are going to take the oath indicate the time to me when i was elected and before that throughout my life i had been a congress man as prime minister correctly pointed out my background was little different from his political background but the constitutional responsibility of indian president not only me all 13 presidents they took the correct decisions they created and you will have the opportunities some of you have seen it but museum always takes long time and i extend my invitation to all of you please find out your time and go through it this is truly a magnificent creation and i am indeed grateful to my team of officers headed by secretary to the president mrs samita paul assisted by mathu assisted by siddharth shakil and another gentleman i am missing today right now of course he is doing a more responsible job at world bank suresh jadu and host of other officers including military secretary major general khosla and his team all of them have transformed whether making experiments to grow tulip 
Before 2013, tulip was not grown in, grown in Mughal gardens. But now you can see huge quantum of tulips are being grown, and particularly in the month of February, if you come, it will be a feast to your eyes. Therefore, we want it that this building has its history. Those history are to be told and narrated, and it can be done as it has been done magnificently by the most suitable person, Professor Saroj Ghosh. And even at this age, he took tremendous trouble to create this museum and keeping in ambience with this heritage building because it is going to be almost 100 years old. Actual life started from 1929. The first document was Lord Arwin. But as I always say, that this building was after all not the lucky for the British imperial power, because within 16 years, they had to leave this magnificent building and giving freedom to the people of India. Of course, not as a gift, but as a result of the sustained freedom struggle of the people of this great country. I would not like to lengthen my observations because I know all of you are sitting for quite a long time. I am sorry for that. But I thought that Prime Minister, Vice President, Chief Justice, I, we are happy to have the 12th President of the Republic, my immediate predecessor, Prutibhaji, to be come, uh, kind enough to come along with <laughs> Sri Devi Singhji to join us on this happy occasion. We were seeing, just having a glimpse of the museum. Of course, I will see it leisurely much later on. And I'm extending an invitation to all of you, each one and individual, please do come and see the museum and have your own impression. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen for responding to our invitations and joining us with this delightful evening. I am deeply appreciative of Prime Minister who has spared so much time. And with this Parliament is on session. Honorable Speaker Shubhitra Ji was also here. Honorable Chief Justice and a large number of distinguished judges of the Supreme Court of India who are very busy. They have kindly come and joined us in this evening. We are delighted by your presence, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.